to she did not say that it is mutually opposing she said there is a conflict that's uh, yeah, yeah, that's point sir right sir there is conflict yeah that conflict is on, uh, one, on one side we talk about detachment and on the yeah. other side we talk about we we train attachment something like that that's what uh, vinay is implying but again in this statement uh, that we can touch the original consciousness was possible because we discussed this, this many things in order to establish the possibility of original mind we needed uh, at least uh, 10% of the discussions that happened otherwise how will we talk about original mind itself you try talking to somebody for some vina the uh, the the possibility of original mind then you will know that uh, it is not that easy for the other person to even conceptualize the possibility of an original mind okay even if he is conceptualized the purpose is to uh, give as much possible guidance in a given context so that he or she or they if inspired will be trying to access that original consciousness based on your guidance and if you want to give guidance to people of course that level of guidance is possible only from one on one only on a one on one situation because every individual has a different mindset configuration perhaps vina is having a, a picture a visual understanding of uh, uh, so called recordings and then the original mind that is why that question and to that yes. question only navin also responded yes sir yes it sir is that is like there that. it is not like that that. Yes, sir sir it is almost like uh, you know a thing is covered like a, like a, like the first uh, minashi point out a beautiful concept uh, using the tonian already it is onianized center point is the original the core already at a given point of time there is onianized and uh, every 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 layer of that matters not every but at least significant layers so that matters they have to be resolved or at least they have to be cut if they are kind of a gordian knot they have to be cut but then there are several things to cut that is why finally at the ultimate level at the last gate even the very concept of original mind becomes a block right now you have an understanding about original mind you know that word original mind is there but if you go to the referent of original mind then you will see that it is not that you see there perhaps like navin said we have to have all kinds of tools to break up on every lock so that the referent of original mind is access the concept of original mind is already clear to you see the problem now you can be clear about referent and the uh, concept the concept of original mind is very clear to you it is more or less easy especially at this level of your perception and experiences but the what is the referent of original mind see at a preliminary preliminary level that original mind was the mind of that little infant just imagine where there is no impression even of that mother's face i mean the way it is there with any attachment 
the mind was there also it is not that mind was formed from external agency first the mind was given to the child and then everything was gone no 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 the movements of the hand was all, were already there that using the movements of hand you take a spoon you put your shirt you you eat the food or you write or you play piano or violin or tabla and calligraphy and things like that so if the movements were not there you just going to do that similarly the sounding was already present if the child cannot sound it cannot be trained to talk a language so similarly whatever we uh, we uh, imagine for example as mind that potentiality was already there and uh, that is what we are now talking about so when we reach that original mind level things are absolutely different you know in general uh, a so called creative individual not uh, scientifically creative like a poets painters to understand script writers or music creators or uh, theater creators they are all little bit uh, a uh, sort of uh, beating around the bush, bush of uh, original mind in the sense that they get that idea from nowhere that's why uh, let us say i think i have warned you also when you uh, uh, when we use the concept of genius self in self the referent reality of genius in self is not at all ordinary it is very extraordinary you are very likely to become <laughs> actually speaking to tell you openly you are all if you all follow or if you all translate your knowing into the reference of what you know more or less invariably you will be uh, perceived as a little bit eccentric by almost anybody anybody because your responses responses behaviors actions ways of relating and ways of language will not be exactly in correlation with uh, the their i mean the other people's mindsets about you get the point so that this is what i have been uh, sort of warning you from the beginning but uh, when you become that you will not be worried about that <laughs> that is my guarantee <laughs> that's my feeling <laughs> okay about it others yeah. may be worried about that perhaps and you may not be worried even when you are aware that others are worried about you there was a complaint about my training programs even before i i mentioned uh, in that first batch in one of the schools where i did relatively little bit about 30% not 30% of the program in a school where our parvati was a student some 12 or 15 people were called back by their parents i would say they are maybe very sensitive or they are very intelligent in that sense point to i just put a stop i i closed down school for creative perspective my first uh, my my dream which i started uh, as early as 1982 at excelar jamshedpur and i start i sort of uh, uh, did something uh, by about 1995 or so in the name school for creative perspective i lived for that dream but i stopped it Uh, when i realized that uh, one point number 1 majority of the so called trainees were girls that's okay in fact once i told openly oh, oh, only girls are responding to my advertisement the advertisement in the newspaper that is okay but uh, uh, for the information of other people like ramesh or maybe minashi or ashudi or uh, anuradha or navin every one of that girls every one of those females 
they married by their choice including especially one two three of them their marriage was already fixed with somebody one girl's marriage was to happen just after three months all of them cancelled their marriages and they all wanted to make their own choice of a partner in their life so a few parents came attacking me one of the parents made an announcement in all the churches in ernakulam district that such and such a fellow is doing such and such a training program please do not send your children there i did not do anything i am actually in a way indirectly answering to the question of veena only in fact veena must might already know i was strongly against the marriage of at least two of them though they considered me like so called whatever guru or whatever they did not listen to my strong objection strongly worded objection what i did was training them in creative analytic perception but when they developed that creative analytic perception the females who were all uh, historically subdued by various uh, mindsets uh, uh, induced in them by the society or by the parents or by the culture or whatever they suddenly felt that free readers they felt confident they they took that so called let me say that creative choice or a genius choice of uh, you no know, doing what or invariably without exception that is the important point so uh, this way i am this is a, a let us say a, a remote evidence of uh, something a possible process of contacting the original mind i am in a way indirectly answering to the question of veena so when great knowledge very very great perspectives happen it is not giving them i was not teaching them psychology i was not teaching them any subject i was just making them think and reflect that's what the core thing that happened in the training program which they have never done which most which 90% of the educated people would never do in their university classrooms or maybe even subsequently they chose their freedom similarly when we are talking about the original freedom like uh, now we not so pointed out various ideas are good and when that ideas sort gradually it is not that they did the marriage when they were students there no 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 not at all as i told you right now in some other context i told you that you are right now in the runway of this training program when you take off then the flight begins so uh, the kind of contents that you have been traveling through are definitely uh, powerful enough for so that uh, one day the film will stop and you will see the end screen winner so is there so somebody wants to yes no no vina can continue because i think she has a question yeah so uh, is this the original mind the observer you were talking about no you said yeah what is that observer is the attention observer is that witness of uh, Uh, the original mind as well as the uh, contaminated mind i mean the mind cells observer is that uh, the central aspect so the trinity the there is the trinity the basic template of the entity or the body assemblage okay which generates the uh, com- consciousness contents which generates the consciousness upon which the contents are uh, running and then the that or the, the that mirror 
which is reflects it back so that the consciousness is conscious about whatever it is conscious so that is not the what that is a different level that we will talk a little later that we mentioned in between uh, I, uh, in fact i think the other day even without talking about original mind i was uh, sort of hinting at this that uh, if you come across that which is uh, witness of everything if you if you are uh, um, flying near the fire of that uh, uh, observer which you refer to uh, it is little bit dangerous i said that other day no, no, this is about the so called mind only upon which uh, the so called empty slate the first set of presentations to send by parvati contained an empty slide and uh, uh, about which she referred to as the original mind in fact then she added something on that and things like that so uh, original mind is different here that original mind is sensed by that observer only you know the mind is different the original mind is that uh, whatever is right now going on and we call it mind but uh, it is uh, technically it is which uh, is whatever is in your consciousness now whatever in, is in your consciousness now is the mind for you not the original mind so that is why i, I mentioned some time back at right now you are listening to this you are reflecting on that at the so called uh, freudian apparent uh, uh, top uh, top layer top layer of consciousness beneath that you are you know that you are sitting in the room you have to have dinner or if it is prepared you had it or there is no concern for dinner or you are aware about your identity that uh, you are this that then you are aware about whatever is in the environment etc etc they are all there they are all there uh, half an hour back it was some different kind of conducts right now this after some time you will have some other contents so in this ongoing variations of contents where is where is the what is the terrain what is that plane upon which or in which this continuous flow is happening and when this continuous flow is explained as for example in buddha's context the suffering or causing depression or defeat or or, or underestimation of the self then we can try to know the so called truth or the what is the original non varying condition of the mind this way we will come across this again and again we have come, we have come across this even before we will come across this with much more clear focus when we discuss about variant invariant linkage network we have come across this at many points of time because i know my purpose is very simple only all this are as we now said all this are gyan central truth is very clear i am brahma swami finish you are that but in order to prove that uh, what is the that what is the you and what is the you are and all that it will take a lot of dialogue that's what we are doing now in fact in the very first parable the the axe slipped out of its handle till then the woodcutter was uh, reflecting upon where his mind sits and when all the mind sets were cancelled then the satori was trapped or the uh, that moment of satori clicked so but till then he was working on and that point we discussed there also was that moment of uh, no mind we discussed we did not use that word then that's all when the cook was preparing the tea just more or less the doing of an original mind 
if a little baby cooks a cup of tea, how it would be? You can be definitely sure that even Sogan was in the state of original mind. He has discovered his original mind. As I told you, once you come across your original mind, please do not believe. I am sure, they, like the mental block of unconscious mental block of the images of genius that are still blocking you, it's all possible that the concept about sort of your self-realization also is similarly blocked by the cons consistent images of the so-called enlightened people wearing a different dress and living a different life and continuously talking about the, I would say, the bullshit of Ananda Maya. So please do not think that. Because that thought will itself will be a block and on the day when you realize the empty screen, you will know that what I said is true. You cannot stay there forever in the normal sense. Like Patanjali or Vyasa, you just can go and stay alone in a forest, but not in any modern social environment. You have to think about the time, historical time point we are talking about, the Vyasas and the Patanjali's and the Ramana and all that. It was not the modern, what you call electronic and highly educated place. First of all, we are all blocked by our educational ego, educated ego, the identity of being educated, knowledgeable, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That is in the unconscious. It is not uh, the real Nitya sitting there. It is not the real Parvati sitting there. Or rather, it is Nitya, that person, Niti sitting there. Identity of Parvati sitting there. Identity of Ramanishmanikam is sitting there. So, when you come closer to the original, at least even by understanding, you will become that much far away, even from your identity. You will be a person without any identity, because an identity of no identity. And this does not mean that you will cease to become a mother or a housewife or, a, uh, or an officer or a uh, manager or a president or whatever. Okay, no. That is what I said. Do not get into that misunderstanding. Of course, uh, there is a possibility that uh, uh, you may search for an opportunity to get out of all these things. Because you will know the truth of existence. But you can always live. As you are living right now. Yeah, all right. So, uh, uh, I, uh, so by the examples of uh, uh, various levels, I think uh, that Veena's question is clarified. What do you say, Veena? Uh, I have to think or reflect or, I mean, to peripherally, I think I have understood, so-called comprehended. And you want to think about what next? You have already comprehended, then what thinking you require yeah, next? Yeah, I don't know. Whether I have comprehended also, I am not sure. I, I don't know. I am trying to rephrase my... You have comprehended the concept. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but how so, to avoid when you, this? So, you will know, or you, the, the way you want to know it, that is possible only when you get it. Right now, we are discussing about the tea. Yes, yes. But you will know the tea only when you get that thing in your hand. Yeah. So, you cannot sit there and think about the tea and get the feel of having the tea. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that uh, uh, insistence on uh, getting an idea about the real referent of tea during discussions about the tea uh, may not work, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah, someone else was talking something else. Who is that? Master, so, I had a question. Yeah, yeah maybe right. you go. Yeah, um, so I was wondering, would you 
suggest to prepare others around us that is sir i would say inevitable uh, even duty i suppose but uh, the uh, you have to be aware about the accessibility to them or their uh, possible responsiveness to this dimension of existence i mean internal existence we are not talking about internal existence only. externally you are uh, working whatever you maintain it differently that is why i mean that is a choice and the possibility if it is possible otherwise you just don't try for that because that can create uh, opposition and uh, animosity even because that uh, search for truth is with everyone and everyone has that uh, innate sensitivity to those who are closer to the truth that's why as i told in the case of children being called back from the program and things like that they all can feel there is a that like a good music even a non singer can feel the goodness of that music similarly the people around you will inevitably feel your difference you think that uh, 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 like a cat uh, drinking milk crossing eyes I am telling you, everyone around you already started feeling your difference. I am very sure about that. You do not know because you cannot identify your difference unless it becomes very obvious or something like that. So you may have to do it, or uh, the, uh, you may have to carefully, strategically manage it. Otherwise, there could be even problems with the so-called. others around you when you try to uh, make them aware of what you are aware of but i uh, but i think that also can be a challenge but uh, as i told you human beings uh, belong to that various points of normal distribution curve and in this case i have not a single exception that there is the need of a certain destiny even to listen to this level of ideas even for my normal training programs normal training programs in companies i have always observed that only some kind of an eligibility was present in them that's why they have come they happen to be there in the program many times even promised the candidates did not come because you are all aware what are you listening what are you meditating upon so how many people can do this how many can be even interested in this i even now i would like to tell you if you feel there is a problem for continuing in this program you can drop out but of course uh, the fee will not be paid back i already spent it <laughs> <laughs> or rather i have a scheme to spend it <laughs> i am i am i have already started a project uh, where i have to spend a little money so uh, but i am sure uh, uh, you got a great level of knowledge already minor sir which is minor. which is priceless which is beyond the water money so exactly. uh, but uh, i want to say this particularly to nitya and uh, i don't want to be very secretive about this in fact uh, many uh, many meaning in my domain many people are really convinced that this program is of negative consequences point number 1 as i mentioned uh, uh, any girl is very likely to choose her partner unless there are other uh, uh, agreement with the parents or something like that and uh, mostly the girls they face a lot of problems with their husbands i know at least the case of uh, Uh, because of certain reason yesterday 
myself and Namaya were sitting in. At least uh, almost nine of my, my so-called trainers are living in some kind of a conflict with their husbands. One got married, I think, uh, almost uh, maybe maybe one year, that's all. And that marriage was after one year of sort of living together. And uh, and uh, that uh, that husband has finally what you call given her a commandment that uh, she should never talk about me or never say anything that is learned from me or anything like that. That he said that that moment you can consider yourself out of my life. So that's oh. a situation that happened. So, I wonder, for example, what is the problem of the so-called husbands? If the wife is so wonderful, I think they should be all the more happy about that. But as I told you, uh, this, uh, I would say, if I use the word, that uh, a creative analytic height of a person, or rather the spiritual clarity of a person is often very challenging for the other person, because they, that person also wanted to be there, actually, that is why. Otherwise, why he should bother, you know? If I don't care about money, if Naveen gets a lottery, I don't, I don't, I am not bothered, you know? <laughs> so, uh, the other person gets into problem, because in this case, which I said, the uh, uh, one year of marriage, that Guy is a so-called B.Tech plus MBA working as a senior manager in a company. And uh, uh, he pretends uh, to be um, very knowledgeable, uh, visited some one or two countries. And uh, uh, um, as I told you before, I mostly tell the trainees that uh, by the time they go, I tell them that you are you now invincible. Nobody can be above you. Not in role perception and all that, but in clarity of perception. Because referent reality perception itself is enough, you know. Then there is a, um, like many husbands want to control. So yeah, that is another that control will be lost. Uh, will their be lost. power to control will be diminished. Hmm. That's what I told you. 12 or 15 students were recalled from the program. Yeah. Nitya knows the other guy, Jagan. Jagan's yes, father, yes. being an yeah. influential person, he made the uh, all the mm -hmm. churches in the district to announce in Sunday morning that uh, such and such a person is doing a training program in such and such an institution. Do not send your children. <laughs> it was announced in three days. Yeah. Why? Because. His son, I mean, he is basically a Christian. His son got married to a Hindu girl. That he is not objectionable because he was expecting something like 75 lakh dowry. That oh. was the standard dowry at that time. That was the standard dowry which was almost promised by uh, some other family. That was the main reason. And this particular father asked him to pay that money also. <laughs> mm. To the boy. He said, you give me that money. I mean, that's all. I mean, whatever it is also, that is quite possible. So, this I want to tell you. That's why I stopped that institution. Because most of the girls who got, I was surprised. For example, why only the girls become interested in this training program? Because they are, face, they are liberated now. They are free. They can understand. When they advertised, uh, uh, maximum number of so-called telephone calls. I suppose not even a single boy called. So there was a lot of uh, uh, perceptions out of that experience. So coming back, these are all answers to the question of Veena. When greater knowledge uh -huh. happens, there's a freedom and uh, 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 there's a general freedom. Mm -hmm. by which people take decisions and we are talking about greater knowledge in the direction of uh, coming across or discovering or identifying or differentiating or discerning the signals of that original mind. 
so uh, 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 it will happen and uh, uh, this is not necessarily a contradiction vina this is like you need a sword to defeat a sword that's all ah uh, yes you know shit yeah master i had a, yes i had a question first but uh, that question seems irrelevant now uh, but, uh, but i, I, think, I think, no, no, no question will be irrelevant you can know the ask it there could be a reason okay. why you wanted to ask that question what is that reason so we will understand that reason so ask the question okay so the question was uh, you mentioned the girls uh, who trained under you uh, all made their own decisions later when they were freed from the mindsets they had when they joined your program yeah and you also said that you opposed to their new decisions mm. uh if that came from a changed mindset or from their original mind why did you oppose it oh oh minute <laughs> for stupid reasons only okay Stupid reasons like uh, mm, the girls' uh, parents came and uh, yelled at me, and uh, all those things, and they made an allegation that uh, I was the one who I was giving that direction to the. See, just imagine, they said I was rather inspiring those girls to do like that. That all was not at all a topic in our discussion. <laughs> unfortunately what um, two of them I mean, uh, the boy and girl they were trainers there so they thought that uh, mm. they got that uh, facility because of my training center or kind of ideas we discuss mm. like that i am talking about jagan and indu then okay. again the same thing repeated in case of uma maheshwari and prasa Mm. Mm. Oh, my sister's parents were uh, uh, so much fascinated about me. They have come all the way from Trichy to Coimbatore to meet me. So much fascination was there. But the same people got uh, absolutely angry with me because uh, Uma married Prasad. So Prasad also was my trainee. Yeah. Yes. so mas mother said uh, i wanted to get a bomb to uh, kill that man that's what uh, she told uma which she told me but i never did anything or said anything in fact uma and prashant were close even before coming to me yes they were close with mm-hmm. yeah i know so uh, but uh, uh, perhaps uh, she would not have got the decision I mean, strong to marry him Married mm. because that much of opposition was there. Anyway, yeah. So the all these are in a way answering to, in a very beautiful way, uh, an indirect way, uh, giving you uh, a non-conscious um, happiness that all this will finally end up. Uh, taking your flight out of the tarmac to the freedom of genius himself sorry from the runway that has to happen if this has happened to so many people i have never been uh, i know i know what i'm uh, talking and i know the possible probable directions of retrospection So long as you listen to what I'm talking. Yeah. Master, can I make a point to yeah. Neeti uh, yeah. regarding her question? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, so, yeah, so this I mean, is a candid. Uh, sorry, once again. Yeah, so this is a yeah. Ah, uh, this is a candid uh, statement about my own experiences having been master's mentee for many years. when i initially started training under master i had a lot of opposition at home 
uh, from my husband and my parents who never liked my going and staying with master, which I did on all my vacations. So in spite of the fact that I stayed for a whole month with my parents and I spent maybe three days at Alandure, it was never liked. But despite their not liking, uh, I would go. And I clearly remember uh, the incident when I decided to buy my Jeep. My husband was extremely upset about it. He was very angry and he openly told me that I cannot buy a Jeep. And he asked me, why can't I be like other women? It's 21 hours. And the other women <laughs> were uh, you know, some of my colleagues who were at work. So I told him that I'm buying out of my inspiration. And then the next line of argument was that you don't even know how to drive. So it was in that context that I bought my Jeep and learned to drive on it. Now the continuation of the story is this. In the years after, particularly in the last year, his attitude as well as my parents' attitude towards me has completely changed. I think they have observed the way I behave and are now extremely accepting, respectful and happy about me. So you may have some initial difficulties, but then people realize uh, the changes in you. And this initial turbulence goes away after a while. So my message to Nitya is, even if there are some rough patches, they too would go away. And more importantly, after a while, that does not matter to you. That too has happened to me. So both ways, the outcomes are good. Okay. And I have experienced it. I'm experiencing it. The outcomes nice. are only good. They are very good and they're exceptionally good because I see the responses of people to me now. And I see the difference. So have Thank no you, worry. Okay. Have no worry. In, in a way, Nitya is partly lucky because of the timing. Yeah. And on the other side, partly unlucky also because of the timing. In the sense <laughs> that uh, her, her, her husband. Uh, because this is now an open discussion because it is about the mind and mind. <laughs> uh, so I am sure uh, already he is a wonderful guy. Otherwise, it is not easy to escape from the perception that uh, what is there? She is sitting for about three hours late night, you know. He can be genuinely concerned about at least her health. Uh, that kind of thoughts are possible because right now already it is. Uh, 1.30, right? Something like that. Yeah, 1 o'clock. So, uh, I would say already he is a wonderful guy, no doubt about that, to tolerate that. If it is for one or two, three days, it is okay. So, that natural, because she is all the time there, she is uh, his wife, her com his companion, and she is sitting there like that. He cannot know what is going on. So, just like that, uh, sitting at the middle of night for so many days, so what is going on? Why? Etc. Etc. Normal health concern itself can be an obsession. So mm -hmm. it is wonderful that he has already managed that obsession. That is a great point. Otherwise, he could ask every day, when did you sleep yesterday? Or oh, 3.30. What are you doing? He can ask a normal question. You have to go for work. Tomorrow morning you have to get up, prepare the breakfast and go to the office and come back and then again, what is this? If it is on a Saturday, it is okay. Now it is on Wednesday also. What is going on? So, uh, uh, yeah, true, sir. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. 
But if she has accepted, at least that, that itself is a great thing. But I don't know, to what extent he must have really accepted it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is Anu also. Um, I don't know what is the situation there. <laughs> Anu situation. Then Parvati is there. But uh, Parvati's husband knows me even before his marrying her. Or rather, uh, I think that Parvati has given him a very strategically acceptable picture about me. And uh, uh, even Parvati's husband, even before their marriage, wanted to uh, really attend uh, my training program as a trainee and all that. So, uh, I don't know what is the situation there. But uh, to talk very openly, I don't know that Pavadi would like it. Her, her mother, who is uh, in a way much more known to me very recently for the last five, six years, talking at least once in a month for an hour and a half an hour. Uh, uh, for Pavadi is currently joining this program, I think her mother really objected to that. Telling this reason that uh, uh, most of the trainees who attended my program, their life was gone uh, astray or, or something like that, gone out of control, or they were all they were all suffering and all that. But I don't know how power can manage it, sir. Um, one of the things that uh, I notice. Like I heard from Ashok, is uh, he was telling that if because maybe like while talking itself, he said maybe because I have that uh, self interest that I'm the husband, or like you know, because you are my wife, I may be objecting or I may have different thoughts. If it is somebody else, then his thoughts will be different. So it is that um, you know, husband mind that is trying to be in control or something like that, which he is also aware. But uh, which he said, right? Yes. That is a brilliant uh, statement. No doubt about that, Nitya. No doubt about that. Yeah. That's, uh, that's marvelous. No doubt about that. And uh, they were the, I mean, those kind of uh, dialogues could have been a beautiful opportunity for you to appreciate him and uh, and give him the proper feedback. I saw, I'm sure you must have done that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the situations of the men here. <laughs> the most uh, attendant, then <laughs> Naveen. Then yes, sir. I... Same, same, same situation is there also. <laughs> <laughs> What is the class is all about? <laughs> the queries can go on. <laughs> Naveen, ignore, uh, neglect, ignore button. <laughs> 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 Trying to give yeah. some awareness. <laughs> and Vinay is just married, I suppose, uh, barely one year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then he might be facing yeah. more problem than us. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. Nothing like that because uh, I had uh, already given an introduction and uh, she personally met Sir also. So, as Sir uh, pointed out uh, before some time, the strategic introduction was really good. Not, not? Uh, I mean, uh, though I didn't do it strategically. <laughs> That's a beautiful, beautiful statement. Yeah. This is uh, all expectable. Because when you uh, travel at a high speed, uh, naturally, so you have to always uh, uh, sympathetically understand them and very strategically manage them. Veena might know this. I used to tell the trainers almost once in two days, 
but you have to be very strategic in your dialogues, in your expressions, in your behaviors, in your responses when situations like this come. But uh, just condition and uh, uh, or uh, similar conditions and strategies would be a little bit difficult. Because what strategy is possible? Because the wife is sitting there uh, and uh, for so long, perhaps, uh, you know, there are so much of arguments and so much of dialogues possible. No, actually, he's also very busy, so. And the heat, He's also into this kind of things, yoga. He has taken yeah. a 3,000 kilometer walk and all that. So, uh, extraordinary people can understand this. Okay. Or having done something extraordinary, can see, or the extraordinary can understand the extraordinary. That's the problem. Mithyaji is like the master cook. Secretly practicing. And <laughs> 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 the night, yes. So even that, uh, on every Wednesday, in fact, every time, increasingly, I am also aware of this thing. That, uh, and there is no way to reduce the classes or reduce the session time. No, I'm thinking it may be advantages also because there is no other other sound or any other distractions. So as long as I can manage my own need for sleep or like how I manage the next day, then everything is fine because others are not affected as such. What is the situation with you, Tintin? Today we are talking about original mind. What are your original experiences at home? Is that all right? You are mute. And ding ding. Sorry, I was speaking on mute. Saturday, Sundays usually are a time of, let's say, everybody together and maybe some get togethers, merriment, etc. Okay. So I've successfully convinced all that to be postponed because even Fridays till 11 I'm working. So I'm only available on Sundays, is known. Then it's a little different. For the family, the compromises sometimes I have to move from room to room based on the entertainment and other activities. That's also a different change of setting for me. Wednesdays are the only problem because I drive certain meetings during that time. Hmm. That's a Yeah, we will try to uh, uh, reduce the time duration. And uh, we will try to reduce the number of meetings also. What do you suggest? I can talk all these things in a limited time also. But uh, my purpose is to prepare your mind with all possible probable range of uh, scaffolding so that when you want to talk to someone, you will get ideas to talk. Because I am giving you uh, what I have gathered uh, over my turbulent life. Like I am the researcher, trial and error, so many errors, by so many errors, uh, I, I have found this uh, discourse. I have just one so, question. So I am giving you the fruits of my uh, trials. Mm. So uh, all of them are applicable. It may come to your uh, rescue at the, at the required points of time. I am actually... Not only that, this is training. Yeah. So, a training will require all, all uh, training by language. So, I have to, I know what all so, uh, beating around the bushes are to be done. So, it is around the bush. I am trying to give a network of various ideas. So that the central point will emerge in you. So, we take this time. Uh, yes, Tintin? Yeah, I was saying, in fact, I am greedy for more and would not have minded even having maybe two or three classes in a week. Uh, if Nityaji wasn't in Australia, I would have maybe suggested, can we do it later in the evening only on Wednesday? But since that is not possible, it will be like she doing a double night shift. 
only for wednesday is it possible maybe we can do it on a mornings even however early depending on everybody's convenience if only mornings means what time tintin what My time you that is nitya going to sleep as soon as possible and getting up at 4 o'clock and then doing the program right in nitya's case and which where is uh, where is we begin the program by 9 o'clock okay okay i have also thought about this if it is agreeable for you it is wonderful because i i discussed this sometimes with ame also then i used to say most of the time in It's the past 2150. we have a dinner and then see a second show in the tv mm. it's uh, it ends up at 1:30 o'clock so there yeah. is no problem there uh, not only that it is much more advantageous because by 9 o'clock and all that especially the the neuronal system process is very very conducive for uh, uh, transmitting or uh, discussing this level of ideas because the brain comes uh, dominant in the right hemisphere so it is a pakka time that's why even in my normal company training programs i would extend my training program to late night beyond 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock etc and uh, those programs were the most powerful most effective because they also get into that uh, right brain mode you know so they also enjoy it and uh, that is the right time to discuss this kind of ideas so we can think like that we will start the program at 9 uh, that means 9 o'clock means what time for you nitya 1 am in the morning 1 am yeah oh that is also not okay <laughs> it little bit later maybe 3 or 4 uh, when uh, so if nitya is to come at 3:30 that is i think the minimum most time right yeah yeah 3:30 is the time. 30 meaning we have to start the program at 11 o'clock yes 11 11:30 i'm ready i'm ready i'm fine <laughs> okay <laughs> that will be unique experience sir yeah i know sir and then we may not need this much of time also then then i know that uh, instead of 10 i uh, 10 sentences i make i need to i will need to make only two sentences sir is it okay that if we stick to the same time oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> i was i mean is it only i was thinking only from a wednesday's perspective if that is convenient for all because otherwise or oh, uh, there was uh, i mean something back we had the program on sundays yes what about sunday 2 o'clock something like that sunday 1 o'clock oh, is it okay then again it's a problem maybe for nitya then she will be 4:30 No, that's okay, sir. Sunday evening is fine. Like Sunday afternoon there, and it will be Sunday evening here. That will be fine, fine for me, no problem. Then what about Anu? Anu, that sir? Yes, Sunday afternoon is okay. What about Vinay, Navin, Ramesh? Okay, sir. No problem. On Sunday, slightly later, like after at two p.m. or later. because till one i have another class on sunday okay sunday will be done it will be for 6:30 you for me yeah yeah that's okay i'll manage we can try that that's fine so we will restrict it to for example uh, every sunday 2 o'clock mhm mm So is it every Sunday two o'clock? Oh, I mean like uh, every Saturday, like every Saturday what you call seven uh, thirty? Every Sunday two o'clock. Okay. I mean now we can discuss because uh, regular I mean clarity is required uh, basically in referent concept, referent, referent reality perception, referent reality interpretation. 
and reconstitutionalization. That is the fundamental. Once that fundamental is clear to you, then we can cut short the number of interactions. I will just give you assignments. And you do it and uh, you don't have to present it. Like in the Zen monasteries, you do the work and when you have, and write down all the questions and one day we will fix where all questions will be discussed. The Zen mode of interaction. So right now, quickly, I thought of a, a referent, uh, I mean, a referent reality-based question. What is Sunday? Leisure day. What? Leisure. What is it? No, no, proceed. What is the concept of Sunday? All right, you say it is a leisure day. All right, okay, no problem. Leisure day. The concept of Sunday. We are uh, 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 again going to call word or term or set of terms. Then concepts of that word, it's the, big the ref word. referent of that word, referent reality, reality of that referent, interpretation of that referent or referent reality, and then conceptualizing it again. Then there will be an automatic reconceptualization. Then a T is no more a T. Then T is representing the entire world of T. From its cultivation to enlightenment, there is a reconceptualization of the concept of tea. Similarly, what is Sunday? What is the concept of Sunday? What is the okay? Begin with what is the meaning of Sunday? I don't know whether there is a meaning. Somebody can can you see what is the meaning of Sunday? Tinder, or is good at quick reference? What is Sunday? The definition says the day of the week before Monday and following Saturday observed by Christians as a day of rest and religious worship forming part of the weekend. So Sunday is just a name you Yes. How did Sunday get its name? It came from the old English Sunna, the I don't know phonetics, derived from a Germanic interpretation of Latin dies solus, sun's day. It's a Germanic and Norse mythology personifying sun as a goddess named Sanna or Soy. So it's a day to honor that deity, which got adopted by the Christian religion in, I don't know what the concept is called, localization. All right. What is the referent of Sunday? A day of holy day. Referent of Sunday. It's the name of a day. Who is saying that? It is the name of a day. I agree. But what is the reference? It's a day with a different routine.
All right, go on. Sir, mm, uh, yeah. sometime back I just uh, wrote on Saturday, Sunday, a small... Uh -huh. <laughs> what uh -huh. is that? Uh, please read out. Yeah. Yes. Great. <laughs> It's, it's basically it's realigned. So it's, it's realigned. Uh, so start your week on Sunday, then ending it on Sunday. Okay, that's a good conceptualization about Sunday. But what is the reference of Sunday? What did Andrew say? Andrew said something. It's a day with a different routine. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you trying to really locate the referent of Sunday? All right. What is the referent of day? First of all, day. Begin there. 24 hours. Set of 24 hours. The refer that is again the concept. What is the referent of day? Time when you are active. It is. Yeah. Right. Days right. Who is telling when we are right here, that way, then you are talking about the you. You have to talk about the day. Days when there is light. When there is light. There is sunlight. The period marked by the rising and setting sun. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Much more closer definition of a day. Any other definition possible? Any other description of the referent of day possible? That's why I always give you a simple example of the pen or a cup. The word pen means a writing instrument. The concept of pen can be dependent on you, something which you use to write, something which you fill in ink or buy from the shop, something which you always carry with you, something which is uh, a discovery of human being, all kinds of concepts about a pen are possible. Pen belongs to various categories, various uh, brands, various costs and all that. But the reference is very clear. That material, that, uh, that physical the same, that cylindrical long object with all the further names of cap, of uh, neck, uh, nib, feeder, tang, etc., etc. That is the referent, that is the thing which is named pen in this context. Of course, the word pen also refers to that uh, uh, containment where uh, uh, sheep or cattle are kept, also is called a pen. Pen also means uh, feather. So let us choose a writing instrument. For a writing instrument, the pen, what is the reference is that thing? Maybe right now on your table. It may not be a folded pen, it may be a whatever pen. So that is the reference of the word pen. Then the reality of the reference. When you talk about the reality of the reference, you have to, there are millions of pen, you have to start talking about the reality of a reference pen. Then you have to start somewhere, then you take a pen. You cannot start at the same time talking about the reality of the reference pen in its full totality in the world. Not even in your house. You have to start talking about the reality of the reference of pen, that material. So you have to take one. You have to begin somewhere. So you take a pen. And that pen has a reality. That you just purchased from Bangalore. And you purchased it on a certain day when you went with a friend to a shop. You never wanted to purchase that. But uh, when the friend was, I mean, for example, the reality of your pen. I'm just concocting a story. 
then it is seldom used or you use it only to sign checks or put a signature nowadays pens are not used so uh, that pen has a certain reality it may be kept away very neatly in its pen holder or maybe just like that lying on the table so that is the reality of the pen which you are choosing now so if after listing the reality of your pen then you take the pen of your wife then you may go ahead and taking the pen of mahatma gandhi or elizabeth taylor or uh, and go on we can go on taking all the pens in the world and talk about the reality then you may need uh, uh, some 1000 years so you take a talk the reality of one for some then you can interpret those realities like for example your pen is little bit uh, dirty or bent and all that so you can go in interpretation that uh, uh, this pen owner is not careful about that he doesn't understand the importance of pen or this pen's destiny is like that this pen has been uh, used in writing poetry and so called uh, interpretation if possible they can be made Anyway, after all these things, you have a reconceptualization. That means a, a revised mental impression about pen, which, are, which I am sure already happened to you even before. Now your way of seeing a pen has already changed. I am sure. So that's a different issue. Now coming back, what is the referent of a day? No, you don't have to answer it. So we are getting into a little more complexity. so what is the reality of the referent of uh, sunday then you have to take a certain sunday then only it is possible then what anurag has said what you call a sunday the routines are different like uh, navin said the sunday is a leisure for him even now for example having discussed uh, i it is an answer to vina also having discussed this four five lines or having sounding this four five lines about sunday right now today i am sure your your attitude or your perception your mental impression about sunday has already changed mm. yes that you will know when you talk about sunday next day or when you remember sunday next day so our purpose of discussing about the mind also is like that i want every one of you to create a theory so what is the theorization exercise that is your attention trying to capture as much as possible the possible probable nature of a called mind so at that context i said mind is a reality without a proper referent okay neurological investigation say that the cerebral cortex the central nervous system is the seat of mind someone also add a heart the heart chakra into mind then there's a discussion about uh, what you call the uh, uh, what you call the manipur chakra i mean the navel center as again the root driver of the mind they are all trying to explain the referent of mind they are trying to locate a referent for mind but that location we may not be easily uh, possible I mean, it may not be that easy to identify that referent of the mind we can say brain or we can say heart we can say the abdomen region but uh, for us mind is a uh, reality we feel emotions we feel likes and dislikes we feel choices we feel certain attitudes we feel very range of emotions so mind is in that sense a reality without a referent you can do actual focusing your attention on the central part of your body abdominal region behind that is a, a very serious ganglion junction technically called the sciatic plexus in fact the root of the emotive forces are from there only not even from the heart it is generated there then it spreads into the heart and then it is you know a feedback loop perception go on time one time two time three time four it goes on uh, covering different orbits 
So why you should be reflecting upon the reality of the referent of mind? Is that, are they just emotions? Yeah, emotions are there. Sometimes it is, there is a feeling of depression, sometimes there is a feeling of happiness. Then there are so-called thoughts which people say that also is a part of mind. Okay, whatever that is okay. Whatever you are aware of us in your insight. That you have to reflect. Because every expression of another person, every expression, every response, every behavior, every action, every way of relationship and every dialogue is actually generated by the mindset or whatever is uh, responding from that uh, consciousness condemns. So the contents of consciousness is that the referent of the reality of the referent of mind. Yeah, yes, that cannot be denied. So how that is to you? If when you look at the variations of that mind, the contents. First of all, uh, we are not theoretically proceeding, but coming to the practical requirement, you have to be. Clarifying, you have to reconceptualize your approach, your attention to your own mind. Primarily with the number one proposition that, after all, it is an ever ongoing variation. Half an hour back, I was worried about uh, whether the servant was coming today or not. Right now, I am worried about uh, uh, what uh, dinner I will cook. After 10 minutes, I will be worried about, oh, I have to do some homework. So, it is going on varying of different time intervals. A certain one.